Well, let's start with um, my favorite that I really love. I feel that this is the most comprehensive. It's uh, Andrew Loomis's Figure Drawing for All It's Worth. Now, this book, the actual anatomy is not as detailed as you would get in an anatomy book for artists. But this book is the most comprehensive in terms of overall drawing. So, I mean, it gets into compositions of images, proportions, scales. Um, it does get into anatomy, even though it's not as detailed as other anatomy books. Um, but it gets into lighting, accentuating the form, as they mention here. Um, there's a lot of text about the actual drawing process. It gets into the flow and rhythm and movements of the figures. Um, different types of techniques for pen and ink versus uh, doing it in charcoal. It is what I feel like it's a very comprehensive book on the craft of drawing the human figure, which if you're working on any type of illustration, comics, artwork, this book I think is invaluable. Next is another book that I have used for, for many years. Actually, it's a series of books. I don't know if you've heard of uh, George Bridgman, but he actually has published several books over the years. I have Constructive Anatomy, The Human Machine, Bridgman's Guide to Life Drawing, Drawing the Draped Figure. I have another one that's just on uh, Heads and Hands. Now, there is a book called The Complete George Bridgman, and that book has basically, I think there's like, if these individual books, there's probably like, I think, six, seven, maybe eight of them, and it takes the best of each of the books and puts them in there. So it doesn't have all of these books contained in it because there is some overlap, particularly like with Constructive Anatomy and The Human Machine. There's, there's definitely overlap between that and in all of these books. So it kind of collates what is the most important information without repeating itself out of all of these books and has it in that one. So if you um, just look up the complete George Bridgman, you can find that at any local bookstore, bookshop. You can find it online. That one is a solid one. And then my third go-to book, <clears throat> is The Figure by Walt Reed. This one, kind of in the same way, goes into a lot of the detail. It's, it's similar to Andrew Loomis in that it's comprehensive about drawing the human form. See, Iron Rock says, I had that. The reason why I like this book, and I feel like it's a nice compliment to Bridgman, is that a lot of the book, for, for most of the things, even though, it do, even though it does get into more complex animation, it has many, many examples of a basic volumetric mannequin, basic tubes and cylinders for constructing the form. Loomis covers that as well, and I think there's a little bit of that in Bridgman also. But seeing it done over and over again makes you realize how this phase is essential for understanding the, the figure. You, before you get into actual muscles and anatomy and all the details, this book, I see Danny Nunez says, I, I picked it up because of our, our recommendation. Thank you. <clears throat> I really, I'm, I'm glad that, uh, that, that you, I don't know why you're thanking me. Thank yourself. You went out, you, you heard that the, the book was a good recommendation. I'm glad you, you like it. Um, I, I hope it's been very useful for you. It's not a book that I wrote. Other people shared it with me and I'm sharing it with you. That's the best thing you can do is when you find a good resource, pass it on to other people. But um, particularly in terms of understanding the the connection between, like this is a, a Michelangelo study for one of his paintings, but understanding the connection between all of this complex detail and anatomy and basic volumes of cubes and cylinders is essential. So this book is really good for reinforcing that. So those are my three top go-to books if uh, you're looking for some books on drawing and figure drawing in general.